1953, my grandfather opened the, the first pizza shop in Dayton, Ohio. And one of his friends came back from New York City and said, hey Vic, you know, you need to really look into making some pizza pie. It's gonna be like the next big thing. They had a grocery store, Mom and Pop Denise, and of course, Vic and Casano, and was their daughter. Vic, the son-in-law. He got a loan from my great-grandmother, Denise, to buy his first mixer and oven. Together, they developed the recipe for our pizza crust. Sold 400 pizzas the first day, and then it was off to the races after that. He uh, closed the grocery store, focused totally on Cassano's. No one really understood what pizza was. He helped educate it. If you say it fast enough, that you want a piece of pie, and people thought it was a piece of pie. They wanted apple, they wanted cherry. And no, it's cheese, you know, cheese and pepperoni. He did a lot of innovations. You know, he came up with the first self-cleaning oven. General Electric was in town at the time. He uh, came up with the idea to cut the uh, pizzas in squares so because the ladies didn't think it was ladylike to eat a big slice. So the first pizza delivery vehicle we had, three-wheel little thing, and it had uh, warmer boxes in the back. That's kind of the birth of the, the delivery business. So he was on the ground floor of a lot of things because he was one of the first people to do it. Mr. Cassano Sr. was very good at marketing. That was his strong suit. Smothered with a mountain of cheese on top. Big cheese. Big cheese. It's one heck of a pizza. It's what you'd expect from Cassano's. He rode the uh, elephant in the circus parade downtown, commercial on a hospital gurney. When you call in the Cassano's, we'll keep you calling back. Well, when the, the company was uh, first founded, it was Vic Cassano's and Mom Denise's Cassano Pizza. So uh, it was a real long name, so they kind of cut it down to Cassano's Pizza King. In the 80s, Pizza King was becoming generic like tissue, Kleenex, and the Pizza King was totally taken out. We brought it back, me and my brother were uh, talking to my dad about 10 years ago about bringing the King back, and he's like, the King's dead, no one cares about the King, and it's been so long. And I said, well, everybody that grew up in this town, that's my age, remember the Pizza King, and that's a real fond memory of him. You know, in the early days, if you went out to eat once or twice a month, it was a real big deal. And people remember that going to the Pizza King was like the big treat for the week, and everybody was real excited to get pizza. And there's people saying that their wife, they met him at the Pizza King after a football game or whatever. And we had do the uh, plant tours where the kids could come in here and see the dough factory and how we do things. And a lot of people remember coming to the plant at a little young age. They're cherished memories and we're a part of it. So how cool is that? And we've been a local company based in Dayton since the, the company was founded. We uh, have great roots here, all our families here. So Dayton and Cassano's are tied hand in hand. If you mention Cassano's Pizza, people think Dayton, Ohio. If you mention Dayton, Ohio, they'll think Cassano's Pizza.